Well, I have nothing else to do, so I guess I can just tell more embarrassing stories of my life. Oh, gee, okay, so this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done in like my whole life. And my life's very short, shorter than my body, which is like five feet. But the dumbest thing I've ever did. So this was in eighth grade. And I forget the month, maybe September. Yeah, it was in September, right? September 15th or whatever. And I was in uh, middle school. And we, uh, I just had lunch and we were out at recess. And so I had my phone with me and they told me time to go. And I'm like, wait, time to go. And we still have 10 minutes outside. I want to go back to English class already. And they then they told us to get inside quick and then don't go to our lockers or do anything. Just go to our, what would that be, fifth period? Go right straight to our fifth period class. And so we did that, and we're like, what's happening? And they said, we can't use our cell phone to call anyone, not to go to our lockers. So we got to our fifth period class, which mine was English, and that's when my English teacher told us that we were on lockdown because the high school had a school shooting. And uh, I, it wasn't a major shooting. No one died. This one stupid kid just got a gun, shot it in the cafeteria. Most of the bullets hit the roof. It, did, it just hit this one kid on the wrist or forearm or whatever, but only hit one kid. He's perfectly fine. This teacher tackled him, like, right before he could do any real damage. And so, uh, I mean, it wasn't major, but they were treating it major, as they should. And so, we were on lockdown for three hours and 14 minutes to be exact. I don't remember because it's pi 3.14, but three hours and 14 minutes. Oh, my gosh. It was so boring. I'm Well, at least we didn't have to do any English. I guess when you're on lockdown, you don't have to teach classes or whatever. So, I was just stuck in my English class, but we weren't doing English. We played some games. We watched, uh, what is that movie called? Monsters, Inc. Or Universal. Whatever. whatever. Uh, so we watched that. And the whole time, we weren't allowed to use our phone to test anyone. And so, that was, at, again, a fifth period. Every week, we had to go to our ninth period class, which my ninth period class in eighth grade was P.E. And... So, uh, the teacher did not care what we did. We were all gossiping, you know, talking. Uh, I touched my dad, because I would just sit on the bleachers and Baylor was playing back while I was goofing around, whatever. The PE teacher did not care whatsoever. And they didn't care whether we were on lockdown or during a regular PE class. They never did anything. Really, they just sat around. But, anyway, uh, I touched my dad. He's like, well, heard what happened. I'm like, yeah, that was crazy. And then I texted... My friend Peyton and my friend Wetsy, and I'm like, oh, this is crazy. And I like to be sarcastic, and uh, I like to not like prank people, but like trick them into thinking that I mean one thing when I mean another. So like, I will have a full conversation. Well, you think I mean one thing, but I'm completely talking about something else. Or I want you to think that I'm stupid or don't know what you're talking about. So me and Peyton were texting back and forward. And she's like, wow, the shooting's going to be on TV. And, oh boy. And this is where it gets bad. So she said, the shooting's going to be on TV. I'm like, we made the national news? Nothing happened here in Mattoon. She's like, yeah, we're going to be on NBC or whatever news station. I forget. Uh, and I said, I want to be on TV. And she's like, oh, cool. I said, maybe I, I should shoot up to middle school to, to get on TV. Oh, my gosh. I just hit my head on the wall intentionally. That was, oh, my God. That was the worst decision of my life. Oh, <sighs> touch to my friend who faints. I'm serious. I'm going to shoot a middle school just to get on TV. Oh, boy.
And she's like, are you serious? I'm like, no, I'm not serious. I'm not going to shoot up a high uh, middle school just to get on TV. But I guess she thought I was serious, and she did the right thing and reported it to our, like, assistant principal. So I guess she went to her, showed her the text messages, blah, blah, blah. I got called out of social studies. Uh, What was it? Like, the next week or whatever, got called out of social studies because we were, like, uh, learning about the 19... 19- hundreds of whatever, and Theodore Roosevelt, and so I got called out of the office. I'm like, what did I do? I mean, I goofed around at lunch and did something. I'm like, are they going to talk to me about talking about something at lunch? But no, she told me that, LT, you should not joke about this, shooting up a middle school, and I just was bawling. Jeez, I was crying my eyes out. I'm like, yes. Mrs. Holt, I promise I'll, I'll never do this again. I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm not shooting up a high school or middle school or anything. I'm very sorry. Let me go back to class. Okay, I didn't say the last part, but jeez, it was ugly. Oh, my gosh. That was horrific. I felt like, am I about to get arrested or go to jail or get kicked out of school for just... Thinking my friend fire was joking when I, when I, uh, when I was, you know, she fire was serious when I was joking. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a good thing she told the assistant principal. Good thing my parents never found out about this. But then again, it was two years ago. What are they going to do about it now? And that was 2017. We're in 2020. So almost three years. And yeah, that was... Uh, that was life-changing. I'm gonna watch what I touch from now on, because they come back and haunt you in the future. And, uh... Whew. So that was embarrassing. Very em- Not like, em- I wanted to start breaking down crying in front of the, uh, assistant principal, but also to, like, have my friend think that I was serious, but I was joking. But also, I dated this girl seven times, and that's a whole never different story. Peyton, you're a handful. Uh, jeez, I don't even know why we are fr- why we're still friends. Okay, I don't mean that, but maybe I do. But maybe she doesn't know I have this stupid YouTube channel anyway, so I can say whatever I want. Mac, you're dumb. See, I can say whatever I want. So, yeah, that's that a terrible story, and uh. And then for the past two years, like 2018, 2019, we had these service days where we do stuff for the community because of the shooting. And I talked to some of my friends now that were there during the shooting. And they were literally terrified that they were going to get shot at again. It was was not fun whatsoever. So, yeah, I shouldn't have joked about that. So I learned that life lesson that day. Uh... What embarrassing story should I tell next? I'm probably going to get in a conversation with one of my friends, and again, and I'm going to think of a time when I was with them, and I did something completely stupid like this. And then I'm going to make a YouTube video about it. And then I'm going to post a YouTube video. And then no one's going to watch the YouTube video, because I'm not famous. And I was trying not to burp there. And I was just dis- disgusting. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. <sighs> I'll think of something else to talk about later. What happened? Speech on. Low battery. 20. Close. Button. Stop recording video. Jesus Christ. Did you catch... It's saying low. Oh my gosh. Thanks a lot, Siri.